convicts reacting to death sentences. This is Markeith Lloyd. He was on the run for ending his girlfriend and unborn child's life. That's when he was spotted at a Walmart. Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton pulled up to arrest Markeith, but Markeith shot her outside the Walmart. Eventually, Markeith was apprehended, losing an eye during the arrest. He was given a death sentence by the judge. When he heard this news, he freaked out in court. He began saying that he was being set up, and the police were trying to kill him. This is Caius Veovis. This man is a killer and also a Satan worshipper. He had plastic surgery to put horns on his head and got the number of Satan 666 tattooed on his forehead. He was a member of a motorbike gang and was arrested for kidnapping and killing three people. Many compared his looks to the Star Trek character Ghoul Ducat. He was given a death sentence for his crimes. This is Martez Abram. One day while working at Walmart, he threatened a co-worker. For this, he was fired. So the next day, he came to the Walmart armed and ended two people's lives. He also tried to set the Walmart on fire, but thankfully was stopped. He was given a death sentence in court. And when he was showed his crimes, he also freaked out and began crying. Judges who freaked out in court. This judge was sentenced to prison time. She'd been found guilty of misusing her position as a judge. This was to help her brother out in his own court case. When this judge was found guilty by another judge, she freaked out. She tried to lie on the floor and had to be dragged away to jail by cops. This judge got super angry with the convict. The convict, Camille Gamet, had taken her boyfriend's life. She kept being rude and disrespectful the entire court case. And that's when the judge said, I hope you die in prison. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. This judge put tape on a convict's mouth. Franklin Williams was in court, but he wouldn't stop talking. So that's why this judge ordered cops to put tape over his mouth. Even when this guy had tape on his mouth, he kept talking anyway. Eventually, the judge did apologize for doing this and recused himself from the case. As for the chatty convict, he went to jail. Criminals who escaped from court. In a Russian court, this man tried to escape using the ceiling. This is 18-year-old Lenoid Gracer. He took the life of his own sister, but thankfully his courtroom escape was foiled by police. In 2018, this man ran out of court. No one expected him to get away because there's a button that has to be pressed to open the doors. But he made a secret plan with a friend to open the door. You can see how his friend pushes the door button. This allowed the man to escape from court, but he was later arrested yet again. Look at these women leaving court. They were supposed to go on a prison bus back to jail, but these two women snuck underneath the bus. They then tried to run away, but unluckily they were caught by police who realized what they were doing. In Washington, these two suspects ran out of court. That's when the judge takes off his robe and chases these two men. Amazingly, the judge actually caught these two runaways. This TV show clip has a very scary backstory. The clip is from a court TV show called Christina's Court. In one episode, a husband and wife are arguing on the show. They say they argue all the time. That's when the judge says her security guard and his wife have been happily married for 28 years. To which the man in court says, yeah, but he looks mad. Oh, but that's true. Oh, Ask him he's been married for how long? Over 27 years. Over 27 years. Look at him years. though, he look mad. <laughs> The scary part is, just a few years later in 2019, Renard Spivey, the security guard, would take his wife's life. It's very eerie to watch the episode back knowing this now. It's almost like the show predicted this man would end his wife's life. This criminal used a mask to make himself look black, causing an innocent man to go to jail. This is bank robber Conrad Zderak from Ohio. He robbed various banks wearing a super realistic black face mask. He bought the mask from a Hollywood special effects company. The mask was so realistic, an innocent man was wrongly accused and arrested. And even the wrongly accused man's mother thought it was him in the photos. Conrad, the real robber, was only caught after his girlfriend found the mask. His girlfriend found the mask and lots of cash in his wardrobe. After seeing the reports of the robberies on the news, she called the police. 
police. So Conrad's girlfriend snitched on him, but that's a good thing as it meant an innocent man was finally freed. Scariest criminals in the world. This is Nico Jenkins. He may look scary, and that's because he is. He has lived a life of crime, but in 2013 he went on a killing spree. He took four people's lives in 10 days, even taking one of his victims' lives in front of their child. Nico was arrested and police asked why he did these terrible crimes. Nico did an eight hour interrogation with the police. Nico said the people were sacrifices to the ancient Egyptian god Apophis. He was sentenced to 450 years in prison, but this was later upgraded to capital punishment. Another scary criminal is Richard Ramirez. Over the course of two years, this man took 15 lives. He gained the nickname the Night Stalker, and in court was given 19 death sentences. This guy has survived death row three times. This is Richard Glossip from Oklahoma, USA. In 1997, he took the life of Justin Sneed, and he was sentenced to death in 2004. Since then, he survived three execution dates. Most recently he was supposed to be given a lethal injection, but prison workers later realized they'd used the wrong poison. Every time this happens, Richard is allowed to choose his last meal. Every time he gets fish and chips, a Wendy's Baconator, a pizza, and a strawberry milkshake. Richard says he believes God is sparing his life every time. His fourth execution date is set for 22nd of September 2022. That's less than one month away, so let's see if he survives yet again. This is what prison cells look like around the world. Here is what prison cells look like in El Salvador. El Salvador has a massive prison population, but their lack of prisons mean they're very overcrowded. Sometimes over 100 inmates have to share one cell. This is what Russian prison cells look like. There's no heating and all you get is a basic bed. Some Russian maximum security prisons don't even have an outside. This is what prison cells look like in Norway. Some compare these to hotels because they're so clean and modern. Inmates are allowed furniture and even TVs. They're also allowed to go outside every day. This is what prisons look like in Switzerland. They're modern and clean, but due to overcrowding, you won't get your own cell and will have to share with other inmates. This is what prison cells look like in the USA. Showers are on timers so inmates can't drown themselves. They're only allowed a bed and a chair which can't be moved. American prisons are known around the world as the hardest to escape from. Longest prison sentences ever. This is Pudit Kitharadilok from Thailand. In 2017, he was sentenced to 13,275 years. This was for a fraud where he stole $160 million. This is Alan Wayne McLaurin from the United States. He was sentenced to 20,750 years. This was for taking the life of an elderly woman. This is Othman El Ganawi from Spain. He was sentenced to 42,924 years. This was for the 2004 Madrid train bombings. This is Chamoy Thi Payaso from Thailand. She was sentenced to 141,078 years. This was for a $204 million fraud. This mugshot has a very scary backstory. In 2000, Zeb Quinn left his shift at Walmart and met his friend Robert Owens. They were going to look at buying a new car. Surveillance footage does show them together, but soon after this, Zeb apparently has to make an emergency call and leaves. The next day, the Walmart Zeb works at gets a call from him saying he can't come to work because he's sick, but they soon realize it was not Zeb on the phone. It was actually his friend Robert pretending to be Zeb. Robert said Zeb had asked him to call him out from work sick as a favor. Zeb's mother finds this very suspicious, so reports him missing. And the next day, Zeb's car is found right outside the hospital where his mother works. Inside the car is a live puppy. Lips had also been drawn on the car window in lipstick. Witnesses reported seeing this woman driving the car. The woman has never been identified and Zeb has never been found. Some say the woman is actually Zeb's friend Robert in a wig. In 2017, Robert was charged with a murder totally unrelated to this. But do you think Robert might be behind Zeb's disappearance too? 